Hello, Graham Ahern here, Product Manager for Corval Security Analytics, a wire data machine time analytics solution which empowers security teams to be more effective at responding to evasive threats. What we see here is our new app which we've launched for Splunk. This empowers Splunk users to get the benefits of Corval wire data as part of their security investigation activities. So what we see here initially is a dashboard which is purely populated by data flowing up from Corval in real time. Corval is enriching the wire data with uh, context such as who is the user and also threat intelligence information to categorize and characterize the types of malicious activity identified. So what we see here at a glance is who is the most suspicious user in the environment right now based on observed malicious activity. We see a breakdown of indicator types. Here we see a quick summary of the types of information that Corval is feeding into Splunk in real time based on the wire data analysis. And down below here we can quickly see the geolocation of the malicious servers which we're observing connections to. And here's a breakdown of the categories of activity we're seeing. Now this table in the middle is where things start to get very interesting. What we see here is a roll-up of data from multiple sources coming together. And basically what it's providing is a glance view on who are the most suspicious users right now, what is their level of privilege within the environment, what systems are they currently on, and we also see here process and parent process information. This is information that Corval derives through integration with our partner, Carbon Black. So let's click in and explore one of these suspicious activities further. So as we get down into the events, this event as an example is flowing up from Corval within the environment. All the metadata you see here is flowing up directly from Corval. So you can see there's quite rich information being derived from the wire here. We can see obviously the source and destination IPs, but we can also see the threat intelligence context enriched. We can see the host name. We can see the level of privilege for the user. We can see the process coming from Carbon Black. We see the user and we see the operating system type. So let's click in and see what we can do with this event leveraging the integration. So we see some nice event actions here available for us. Uh, so firstly, we can see the flow activity. So if we know that this particular suspicious activity originated on this host in the environment, it's useful to be able to quickly get a snapshot of what other hosts this host has connected to. So we can leverage Corval's flow data to get this information. So with a single click via the API, the request is sent to Corval, and what's returned is a summary of the flow information for that particular host. And what it allows the user to see is the other hosts in the environment that this host has connected to, the protocol that the connection leveraged, and the amount of data that was transferred. Also, what we see here is an option to quickly download the PCAP associated with the session on the network. So this is going to return for us the full packets from that network transaction. This enables the analyst or the user to extract files or artifacts that may have been transferred to replay traffic or to do more deep dive forensics analysis. Also here we have the option to click over and interactively explore the data further within Corval itself. So as I click I'm dropped directly over into Corval with the appropriate filter set so I'm looking at that exact same event but now within Corval and from here I can start to explore further adjacent activities that may have been occurring. And you can see the range of activities that Corval is tracking in real time for hosts that are seen to be communicating on the network. Okay, and one last option to show here for event action is explore attack chain. So what's happening here is Corval is constructing this visualization, leveraging the Corval information and also information from Carbon Black which is enriched into the Corval dataset. 
So what I see at a glance is a clear view of this malicious connection. I can see the origin system in the environment. I can see the external server that was connected to. But also what I can see is associated metadata down below. So for the external server, I can see the URL, the full URL that was connected to, the category, and also through an active lookup, Corval can tell me if there are any other internal hosts in my environment that have also connected to this malicious server. For the host itself, we can see the user on the host. We can see the level of privilege that they have. Corval gets this information through an active connection to Active Directory based on users observed in the wire data. And we can see the operating system of the host. Then leveraging the integration with Carbon Black on the host itself, we can also give information at a glance on what was the process behind that malicious connection. And down below here, we can see the hash of the file in question. We can see the parent process, and we can see what process wrote the file to disk initially. Also, we have these actions available, and these allow us to dig a level deeper uh, as part of our investigation. So we can quickly get the PCAP, as I showed a moment ago. We can also look at other host connections. So if you want to see details on the other hosts in the environment that may have connected to this server, you can quickly get that information. You can also get reputation on the IP or the domain. So here we have the option to look deeper into the details of host connections from this particular host, leveraging Corval's metadata decode. Also, we can explore user activity. So what's happening here is Corval is running a query automatically on the user in question and returning all associated wire data from the last 24 hours on this host. This is possible because Corval is automatically indexing on the likes of the user so we can perform quick searches within Corval on information. And lastly for the host we can isolate which is leveraging the integration with Carbon Black on the host. So when I click here I'm dropped into the Carbon Black user interface with the focus set on the host in question and I've got the option to isolate the host. Digging deeper into the host activity itself, if you want to further explore the process tree associated with the malicious connection, again, leveraging the integration with Carbon Black, we can pivot over, we can set the focus to the process in question, the parent process, and when we look down here, we've got the option to explore the process tree further. So we see Netcat in this case, and if we walk the tree we can see that there are other instances of PS exec which have run in the environment and we can see what they have spawned and we can start to follow the path further and further to investigate. Also we can download the file so if you want to quickly grab the binary in question or malicious file in question so it can be submitted to a sandbox or can be uh, taken offline for further analysis that option is available. And lastly, you can check file reputation. So it's doing a quick reputation lookup based on the hash of the file. So there you go. That's a quick run through of our new app for Splunk. Hopefully that gives you some good information. If you wish to learn more, please do contact us and we'd love to have a discussion with you.